In the last book of the Bible, called Revelation, there's a story about a mysterious creature called the Beast. Imagine a creature that is super powerful and kind of scary looking, with piercing eyes and sharp, twisted horns. This beast comes huh? out of the sea. The beast is so strong and intimidating that people all over the world are amazed by it. They start to follow the beast, listening to Ooh. it instead of remembering what's good and right. The beast has a partner, a monster, that comes out of the earth. This monster has two horns and is like the beast's biggest fan and helps it by convincing more people to follow the beast. It even performs tricks and wonders to make people believe that the beast is great and powerful. One of the scariest things about the beast is that it talks against everything that is truly good and stands against God. It tries to convince people to do the same, leading them away from love, kindness and truth. The beast and its partner have a special mark called the Mark of the Beast. They say that everyone needs to have this mark on their hand or forehead, but the mark isn't good. Having it means people are choosing to follow the beast and forgetting about what's truly important, being kind, loving and doing what's right. The two beasts rule for many years and deceive a lot of people away from what is good. But here comes the hero of our story. The king of goodness, shining brighter than the sun, ready to put an end to all the mischief and bring back peace and happiness. Imagine him riding on a white horse, leading a mighty army of good guys, all ready to stand up for what's right. The battlefield is unlike any other, where the fight isn't just with weapons but with truth and justice. The Beast and his team of bad guys, all set to protect their kingdom of lies, shout and scream, ready for battle. They throw their worst at the king of goodness, lies like fire, confusion storms, trying to beat the light. But the king of goodness isn't fighting alone. Behind him stands an army of angels, those who picked the side of light, even when it was tough. Wearing shining armor, they show how strong and loving goodness really is. As the fight starts, the king of goodness shouts out a challenge that booms like thunder. The Beast and his minions rush forward, full of false confidence. But then, with an effortless wave of his hand, the King sends out a flash of light so bright it's like daytime, cutting through the Beast's lies like a sharp sword. Suddenly, the angels fight back with divine thunder, striking the demons hard. This action turns the tide. The Beast's forces start losing their strength and power. The battle shifts, and now the weakened beast and his followers are caught by the light side. With the beast now powerless, the king of goodness orders them to be thrown into the lake of fire. This pit is a symbol of their defeat and the end of everything bad and false. As the beasts are hurled into the lake, their roars of defiance turn to cries of defeat. The fire consumes their power, ensuring they can no longer harm or deceive. The sky clears and a new dawn breaks, symbolizing the victory of good over evil, truth over lies. This moment marks not just the end of the beasts, but the beginning of a new era of peace, love and truth. It's a vivid reminder that in the end, goodness prevails and those who stand for what's right, even in the face of great evil, will see a new world where happiness and love reign forever.